Hello, and welcome back to another EPC Teardown Guide. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Dell Latitude 3420, a professional workstation laptop from 2021. It's a rather simple teardown, but today we're going to show you how. Now let's get into it. For starters, we need to take off the back cover, which is going to entail these eight captured screws in the back. You'll have to use a smaller bit for this. I use a PH00. When you unscrew the screws, these two corners at the top will actually push away from the case. So that's a good place to start. Let me just get a tool right in there in the corner. And then we can separate the case from the back cover. And that just pulls right away. Now, as always, we're going to start off by removing the battery. In this case, it's just six, four screws around the edges. We can swap back over to a more normal sized bit now. I prefer to use a PH1 for this. And then you'll need to disconnect the battery connector, although I already have. In this, in this case, it's held in place right in this connector right here. So you simply have to use some nails on both sides and pull it straight away from the board, at which point the whole battery pulls away. Next up, we're going to be removing the drive. It's held on this little caddy, so we're just going to be removing the whole caddy. In this case, remove these two screws right here. And the whole caddy will come up and pull it straight away. Next up, we're going to start disassembling so we can remove the whole lid and LCD assembly. First off from that is going to be removing the Wi-Fi connections. Just remove this one bracket held on by a single screw right here. Then we're going to disconnect the cables from the Wi-Fi card. Remember in this step to be very careful not to try and apply any extra torque to these connectors. Just simply pop them straight away. We can remove the card and set it aside and unthread these Wi Fi cables from the fan. It will be held on by some adhesive tape, but that's simple enough to remove. Then we're going to disconnect the LCD connector. Just have to pop up this tape, remove this little lock and bar. right out. Now to take off the lid itself, we have to remove screws from these two brackets. There's two over here, one silver and one black, and then three over here, one silver and two black. Be sure to remember the order that these were removed in. That's because there are two different screw types holding in the brackets. They need to be reassembled the same way they were disassembled. Now we can lift up just a tiny bit. That will raise the brackets. Now we can push them up the rest of the way, at which point all assembly can be pulled up and away. 
Now we can work on the board itself. But first, let's get this fan out of here. Just held on by these two screws right here. And then this connector, connecting the fan to the board. Just with the battery, just have to pull it away. And the whole fan comes out. We can work on this daughter board now. We have one long black screw holding in the cover for the ethernet port. And then we have these two screws holding the board itself on. Now we can remove these two bridges that are keeping the two of them together. The ribbon cables just simply have to be connector lifted up and then pulled out of place on both boards. And then these connectors are similar to the display connector. So just lift up the adhesive and then remove the locking bar. And then pull the way. Slam on the other side. Now you just have to de stick seamless battery and pull the whole daughter board out. And now we'll work on the board itself proper. Start by removing any of the ancillary connections. So the ribbon cables down here. Same as before, just to pop them open and pull the cable out. This one is a bit finicky. Fairly certain that this one was actually installed backwards on all models. We've got the speaker cable down here. Now we've got two of these large headed screws. Two of the long black screws. They were holding down a shield for the USB-C connection, so just pull that away. And then a screw holding the power port in place. And now we should just be able to lift up the board from the left side and pull it away from the ports. And that's how you tear down a Latitude 3420. Don't feel like doing a teardown yourself? Have not just one, but hundreds of devices taking up space? EPC is a global leader in the ITAD field, and it's our goal to reduce e-waste and give devices a second chance. Reach out to us today to learn more.